welcome to the handmaidens today we got a great uh, craft for you that's going to be very useful you're going to want to do this i gotta welcome my co-host here mr mondo um we're making something we made before but we're making it different we are making fire starters today um last year around this time uh mondo and i made fire starters for you using old egg cartons and um uh, can of wax melted and they are great and I love them but I wanted to try something different uh, you know the can of wax I hear Jack jingle with Jack you want to say hi hey there's Jack has anybody ever met Jack this is Jack Jack is <laughs> Jack is famous in this neighborhood because he is Mr. Mischief and he thinks he runs this house and and uh, he bosses me around yeah right Jack yeah, you love me? You love me. I love you too. Behave. Don't cause any chaos. Oh yeah, no, no, no more. Get down for now. Anyhow, back to fire starters. Um, so we made them in milk, old though, cardboard milk cartons with wax, whatever. For today's thing, which we're gonna use, we're gonna use sawdust. You're gonna need sawdust. You're gonna need cupcake liners. You're gonna need old rotten cupcake pans. Jack, get, get down. Oh, you cannot star in the show. And um, and you're gonna need melted wax. Ooh, that's hot. We got a couple pictures here. Mono and I have been uh, melting the wax out of our old candles when they're all spent and saving the wax so we can make fire starters for our wood stove, for our fireplace, for our, our fire pit. Um, when you're using old wax, I don't recommend uh, that you use uh, we do not use this for cooking over a fire, like in a, in a, you know, barbecue, because I can't say that it's, uh, the scents and stuff would be totally not toxic. So anyhow, so we got these really cute little, whatever, paint, right? Yeah. Start putting them in the things. I'm going to put some in. We got red and black and red and white and black and white and whatever. And, um... I use these, do I like them better than, I kind of like my other, my other uh, uh, fire starters with the egg carton and the dryer lint. Except they look, it looks a little, they're not as beautiful. I did paint the tops of them, I've given them as gifts. People love them, they work, they work wonderful. Um, can you get them apart, there's, there's only one, okay. Um, these I'm not, you know, I don't, not sure I would use, I was using them. They keep making a roaring fire, but I'm not sure that this, this uh, paper burns so well. And I'm thinking, it feels a little coated, and I'm wondering if it's flame retarded a little for being in yeah. the hot, right? I'm wondering. And so I put newspaper, I put around newspaper, and that melted through, and it got going, and it was great. It worked out fine. But it did light like those egg cartons. They light up like boom. But they're not the most beautiful things in the world. So if we, when doing crafts and stuff, it's always you want to know: is it is it for is does aesthetics matter, or is it just utility? What are you doing it for? Here is um, a completed. You know, I just love a jar of these cute as a button. Great, great, great. I always think the fire starters are really great gift around Valentine's Day because you can give that with uh, a you know, nice bottle of red wine and maybe that means a light of fire in the fireplace and a wonderful romantic night for two or today's day is three, whatever, I don't, I don't know. Um, Mondo's always my date, <laughs> right? For now, Till maybe his wife will get mad about that one day. Like, what is your mother gonna be here every Valentine's Day? Anyhow, so you need sawdust, you need hot wax, you need paper cup things, or if you can find some, these are so. Are they all like that? I'm not the I'm not the big baker in the family. Laura has made enough cupcakes probably to go around the planet uh, two or three, four, five thousand times. Anyhow, the funny thing is I wanted to, I must have mentioned it to somebody that I wanted to make um, fire starters out of, out of sawdust. 
And my son-in-law, Ariel, who is Laura's husband, says, Denise, did you say you wanted some sawdust? I have some. I'm like, yeah, I guess so. He says, I said, how much you got? He says, just, a, a, you know, a baggie full, like a Ziploc bag. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. I got up one day, and on my front porch, that's Ariel Ziploc bag. Can you see that? I can make fire starters for the rest of my life. And ten lifetimes after. But, I appreciate it nonetheless because there are a lot of other things that you can do with sawdust but we're not going to discuss that today we're discussing fire starters only you keep doing that and I'm gonna and what you do as logic might tell you is you take some of that sawdust if you don't have sawdust and maybe you do some um, some work at home you got a shop you do some woodworking and maybe you got uh, sweep up the floor Maybe you've got one, those sanders with that little bag. You could unzip that and save that in a normal size amount, right? Right? You could use that sawdust. If you don't have sawdust, maybe your neighbor does. Maybe you could go to a local lumber yard and say where they cut boards to length. Hey, guys, can I have some, so guys, girls, can I have some sawdust, please? I want to make some fire starters because I saw it done by... Uh, Denise and Mondo on the handmaidens and I would want to try this because I could use some uh, for Valentine's Day or you got a camping trip change the theme change the colors bring this along this is a glass jar you could use a basket or something else that's not breakable while you're camping or traveling you know what I was thinking would be good I have some uh, oh you know the Christmas popcorn tins Always good thing to decorate. That that be able to hold a whole bunch in there, you know. Paint it up. Of course, I gotta decorate. Paint it up. Maybe you want to do it in camp, you know, the sort of forest colors or something. And you can take the top. Maybe we'll do that in a in a one of the videos. And you put like a doorknob, doorknob, a drawer drawer knob on there, right? We could do that. And then that the lid comes off like that. And you could use it for storing fire starters or any other stuff. But so we're just gonna fill these like this. And you know, it may I had some yeah, we're black, so just so you can see, I had yeah. some floating on me, right? The we're wrong color. You end up with some on you. Um, could you, you could whip these if you want, if there's something, you know, maybe that might help. I'm not going to do that. Um, I have some, when I trim my wicks for the, uh, Mondo trims the wicks for the candles. He makes, he's a, the candle aficionado in the family. When he trims his wicks, uh, is a leftover piece, which you could use that for, um, for uh, putting in a fire starter, I guess. I'm saving them for when, little pieces for when we make votive candles. Uh, the little votives and the little, uh, what do they call the real tiny ones? Uh, tea. tea lights, right, tea. tea lights. We're gonna try that too. There you go, here, you wanna, we'll share. Okay, so as you're doing that, why don't you get your cupcake tins filled, and you take your warm wax very carefully, um, or keep going, keep going, because we're going to have make more while we're at it. Very carefully fill that in. And you notice that it will start to um, soak in, and then you can top it off with a little more uh, once it soaks in. Once you get it done doing that, it takes about 15 minutes to cool. If you're in the colder climates, you can stick it outside and it'll cool up real quick. Um, you know, it's a good way to reuse your wax. I don't like to um, make the wax into candles again, but you certainly could. What, I, what we do do is we save all the wax, the candle jars for reusing them. Um, could you use this wax to make candles again? Of course you could, especially, but once again, you've got mixed scents, mixed colors um 
you know, depending, you know, I just throw it all in together. Um, but if you needed candles in a pinch, let's say you're someplace, you're an adventurer, you're out in the cabin and, and oh my goodness, uh, you got all this old candles up there, but none of the wicks are any good or blah, 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 blah. You're going to do something while you're camping to survive. You could use these to make candles, even if their scent was a combination, like a mystery scent of all the scents you've had before. Or maybe you don't have scented candles. You know what makes me a little nuts? Look at that. That comes with a leaf because we abuse some of our candles. We use them outside all summer long. We use them inside all winter long. And every now and then nature gets in there. You know what makes me nuts when a little bit? <laughs> yeah, all right. Everything makes me a little bit nuts. Um, anyhow, I did see, I did see somebody making fire starters and going to the store and buy candles, melt the candles, and then make the fire starters with that. For goodness sakes, come on, right? There's got, if you don't have old candles to max, well, melt down, Go into on Facebook or social media and say, hey, does anybody have some old candles? I'm working on a project. And somebody, somebody will have them. I just, I think it was my cousin in Florida, Jennifer, posted something. I just threw a bunch of candles out. I nearly had a heart attack. I nearly, I nearly got in a plane and flew directly to Florida. I don't know whether to yell at her or to check to see if she had more laying around. I think that's what it was. I'm like, who throws out candles? I don't understand. There's so a million uses for them. Okay. So, so you go about filling, go about your business, filling these, letting them sit for 15 minutes, letting the wax go in. We're going to be doing this long past after this it doesn't take long it doesn't take. it's because i'm jibber jabbering if you're if you're not don't have to talk a million miles an hour while you're doing stuff things goes much quicker and it's much neater you let it soak in and then you top it back off okay it's going to soak in and then you top it back off it takes um we made 36 whatever the other day we've got we're going to make almost as much we don't have just as much wax but i've got more believe it or not all those old candles put to use what a lifesaver nothing worse than needing a fire and having to mess around um yeah does that look like it looks a little messy it's because there's air in there once the once it soaks down like this the air bubbles go away it lays so nice and smooth and then what you get when would you're you, all done. Would you have oop, added? Yeah, you can, yeah, just push them down a little to get. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just put them down so the air is so much, not so much. So, it'll it'll work naturally on its own, yeah. but it takes some of the work out. And when you're all done, excuse me, my dear, you get these guys like that. This, that came out like a, I don't know. And this is how simple. Here's one that we did. Oh, they come right out. They come right out. So with the darker color, some of them soak through. They're still okay. Look how lovely they look in the jar. Beautiful. Pop them right out. That's it. Light the paper. If this paper is not lighting good, put some newspaper in there. But this is the fuel you need to get that fire I hit off raging fire in minutes sure two minutes it was going Wah! and if you would you know what wood is our primary heat source so you want something that works like that and there you go could i put it in my wood stove or fireplace i could i'm lucky to have one and love to use it so light under those logs just as well so anyhow i hope you're all having a, a good uh thaw out we got temperatures today got over freezing it was so good but it was making it real slick on the ice don't forget to use your water softener pellets if you can't find any ice melt we did some pickaxe in today mondo and i to get the wax going of the wax the ice mm -hmm. uh, the ice off the sidewalks real dangerous for uh you know the ups guys so you know yeah. make sure you take care of your sidewalks 
make sure you stay warm during these cold temperatures. Soon we'll be outside having bonfires again. It's coming. We're past the halfway mark. I hope everyone has a great day, great night, great month. And by the way, if you're watching, and you haven't subscribed, but you think that you would like to know all the things we do. We do we're gonna be out doing gardening, working with the trees, we're gonna do all sorts of we're always having new recipes, right? Yeah. Elisa's got the sheep contest going. Uh if you pick the date the sheep is gonna be born, you can name the clover's baby. You could win some sheep soap. Uh Laura teaching us how to do loom knitting. These are all the cozy crafts that's all the rage now. Baking and stuff around the house, around your cottage, gardening, uh, raising animals, uh, doing stuff homemade, doing it yourself, being self-sufficient, whether you're making your own heat source or you're building a new room or building a greenhouse, all sorts of things. Our library at the Handmaidens is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Right now, I don't know. There's like 87 videos. Subscribe! And then you can chat back and forth with us. We've been talking to some people from Scotland and from other places. So exciting. Subscribe because we want to talk to you. We want to know you. We want to, as much as we want to give you knowledge we're absolutely free. We want to steal your knowledge too. Tell us what you know. Tell us how you roll. Tell us the things you do. Okay, Monica, you go and hit the button and we'll keep on, keep on keeping on with making some more of these. And until then, we got it. Bye-bye.